Hey friends, today I'm hanging out at the Magic Kingdom. Yesterday was Super Bowl Sunday and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers won. Congratulations. And today is the day normally that the uh, Super Bowl parade would happen. Disney said no, but we're here anyway because it's Magic Kingdom. So, let's go do this. Now we got the marching bands to start off the day. Disney did announce and say they're not doing the regular Super Bowl parade, but they actually haven't been doing parades for a while. They've been doing cavalcades. So maybe they might just uh, bring Mickey out in his like, you know, football jersey. I don't know if any of the players will actually come, but we're here anyway, and you can always have a great day at Magic Kingdom. Looks like we got a parade coming down, but Donald is on top of the float. Wow, look at that, fancy. As you can see, we have some people dressed up in their best Tampa Bay jerseys. Mike Allstott, Lynch, and then he's got a Gronkowski jersey. That is so amazing. As you can see, they have everything roped off from here going all the way up to the castle, and you can't even have access to the bridge. Like, it's pretty much basically like cornered off. They said there was gonna be nothing that happens on stage, but I really believe that the MVPs are actually here and they're just gonna do a quick photo. So we'll see, hopefully. I mean, it would just be nice to see them here and I hope that they keep on with this tradition. Security's rolling in. Fancy. We actually have a big space in between most of the people over here, but Main Street is starting to back up a real, real lot. And I don't know what they're gonna do there. It's not looking like anything's gonna happen. Most of the people have all cleared away, but since we're already at a table, decided to grab some coffee and kind of just relax for a little bit. I mean, we were only here for about 35 minutes, but a lot of people have been lined up. Like one lady said she was sitting over here for two hours. <laughs> two hours. So, I mean, a lot of people want to see their favorite, like they want to see Tom Brady, they want to see Rob Gronkowski, but I just want to, you know, enjoy Magic Kingdom now and just drink our coffee and have fun. Once again, there will not be a Super Bowl parade today. Please be sure to maintain physical distancing and enjoy all other areas of the park. We hope you have a magical visit. Thank you. They also just did a push notification letting everyone know that there will be no Super Bowl parade and to please be sure to maintain physical distancing. Luckily, we got a table, huh, kid? Yeah, luckily. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Oh, there he is. <laughs> you can see there's a bunch of different balloons and it looks like he's on a float itself. And they're just getting a good view of the castle. So good that they actually keep this tradition that they actually got to come here and celebrate their victory though. Dream come true to be able to say, I'm going to Disney World. Uh, it's just unbelievable. Uh, that feeling in your stomach is a great feeling. Uh, the adrenaline rush you get from that is great and I love adrenaline. Uh, I love endorphin rushes. Uh, that, that, you know, that's basically what I live for. And so when I get up there, uh, roller coasters are my favorite. Now that we are able to get our footage, I think we're gonna move along. It was great to just see them out in the park and I hope that they get to continue this tradition as the years go by. Hopefully next year we'll be able to see a Super Bowl parade. It would be amazing. We're actually gonna jump on over to the riverboat. Jackie hasn't ridden it since it reopened and also we met up with Braden from Mickey Views. So it'd be nice to take a little spin on the Liberty Bell. <laughs> take a look at this. <laughs> we might be getting a little Gronkowski right here. He is going to be on that train. He is going to be on that train. We're going to catch Gronkowski actually coming around Big Thunder Mountain. Is that him? I don't know. 
what all that ruckus was about was because they had the cameras out and it looks like Gronkowski, the Gronk, was actually going on a spin on Big Thunder Mountain. So it was cool that we caught that. I don't know if we've seen him in any of those uh, carts that went by or trains that went by. He was there. Woo. Looks like Gronk did his turn and now they're gone. The camera crews are left. That was really fun to take a trip on the Liberty Bell and I wanted to just show you a little bit because like I said I just did a whole video about it. Now I want to hop on over to an attraction that's actually closing for refurbishment very soon. So if you plan on coming down within the next month, know that this ride's probably going to be closed when you get here. And it's a little fun ride to film on. I like actually going on it. So we're going to hop on over to Fantasyland. Right here, the Mad Tea Party closing down in just two weeks. Now we don't know how long it's going to be down for but just a little refurbishment, a little touch up on the paint. Don't sit on the hair clip. Oh boy. I like a little spin, not a lot of spin, just a little spin. Don't go crazy. Just a little spin. Tight quarters. How's the knees? You guys good? <laughs> just a little spin. <laughs> I'm going the opposite way. <laughs> Welcome everybody to the Vlogger's Tea Party. <laughs> All right, now we're going. We're doing a lot of spin. Get ready. Oh, I'm so dizzy. Oh, I'm so dizzy. <laughs> That was a fun ride, and like I said, it's set to close, I think, February 22nd for refurbishment. No opening date planned, but I'm sure it's just going to be down for a little bit. And then be back to normal, all fresh and painted and nicely ready to go. And this is why we need a little refurbishment. It's definitely showing some wear and tear. Now I think it's time since we've been all and about in the parks to grab something to eat. And I've been wanting to go to Skipper Canteen for a while and we were lucky enough to grab a reservation. So we're going to head on over there and get ourselves a table, probably a beer, and then maybe something that tastes like chicken. I don't know. <laughs> the music in here is really groovy. Oh yeah. Jazzy. It's like Jazzy. Like yeah. Tiny Ultram Golden Age Radio. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try harder this time. <laughs> Have you guys joined the fan club already? Have no. you joined the fan club? Come on, our biggest fan is right behind you. <laughs> That's right. You're good. Oh, come on. She said her tassels not pretty today. She was feeling extra fancy. Oh, she looks really big. Oh, I like those tassels. That's right there. Lovely window seat. Oh, we're fancy. I try to keep it clean. I just can't get the stains out of the glass. <laughs> No one wants to clean the windows. <laughs> Makes me shudder. Oh, you're good. <laughs> Earlier when we were actually coming in here, you heard me say maybe we'll get something to eat, maybe something that tastes like chicken. That's because one of their main dishes is tastes like chicken because it is chicken. And I usually get that. I don't know if I'm going to veer off the path and try something new, but I'll just look through the menu, but that's usually what I stick to, is the chicken, because it tastes like chicken, obviously. <laughs> well, I decided to actually be a little bit more adventurous, and I'm going with the Dr. Fall Signature Grilled Steak, which is a New York strip steak, but it comes with chorizo hash, which actually got my attention. And then collard greens and caramelized onion puree. You can get beer in the sit-down restaurants, and I really wanted a Tusker Lager. This is usually served in Animal Kingdom, so we're gonna get it here. I'm excited. This is gonna be good. Oh, absolutely. Fancy. There you are. Thank you. Fancy. The true fancy part, though. Cheers. 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 Cheersy. Oh boy, the food is here. Oh lordy. Oh, that looks lovely. Thank you so much. Wow, this looks so good. Holy moly. Yeah, Nate, your steak looks pretty doggone good. I'm excited. I am too. <laughs> I got the vegetarian dish. Nate got a big juicy steak. So between us both, we got things covered. You got tofu. Yeah, I got tofu in here oh. with the noodles. And actually the sauce smells really good. So I'm going to be trying this all out. Fancy. Yeah, very fancy. 
that came out super fast. And I'm really excited for the chorizo hash. That looks absolutely amazing. And plus the onion puree. This is a really, really good dish. I don't know why I've never gotten this before. And I think now, like I said, that I've been trying more things. I'm like, you know what? I always get that. I'm going to get something different. You got to risk it. Yeah, you have to yeah. try new things. And yeah. this is the best part of it. Yeah. All right, we're going to cut into this. I don't have a steak knife, though. Yeah, weird. Hopefully the steak knife. is good. I got a butter knife. But... Yeah, they gave you a butter knife. Oh, oh, oh no, it's going to work. Tender, yeah. There we go. Oh wow, that was really good actually. Oh wow. I want to eat the steak first and I'm definitely going to, but I'm also very excited to try that chorizo hash like I said. But we're going to go with the steak first. But now I really want to get some of the chorizo on the steak and then also some of the onion puree right here. This is what would make the dish, I guess. So we're going to try it all together. A little bit of chorizo. A little bit of steak, a little onion puree. Let's add some spinach. Yeah, you know, that's, that's a good. Green. That, oh, that's collard green. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a good bite. That's a good bite. All in one bite. This is so, so good. I'm so happy that I decided to get it. And it's great because when you mix it with the onion puree, the chorizo hash, obviously I ate the chorizo hash probably a little bit more than I did the steak. Now I'm left with just the steak. But wow, the peppers, the potatoes, the chorizo, all very good. And now I switched over to the shandy. Look at this fancy little thing. Very good. They actually have Blue Moon on draft and then they just, you know, add a little lemonade to it. So Blue Moon is kind of already sweeter because they put the orange peel in it. But wow, this is really, really delicious. If you guys are familiar with the Adventurers Club, then you would be familiar with Kungaloosh, which is basically their greeting. And here they actually have a house beer called Kungaloosh, which is like a spiced beer, but also a dessert. And I'm excited for the dessert because it sounds something amazing. It's chocolate cake with like a caramelized banana and then a cashew caramel ice cream. So we decided to get a Kungaloosh beer and a Kungaloosh dessert. Kungaloosh! Kungaloosh! And here it is. We got the Kungaloosh beer and the Kungaloosh dessert. Look at this. Isn't this amazing? Can you see the banana on there? And then the chocolate cake, the caramel cashew ice cream. This is going to be so good. I wonder if it mixes well together. First, let's try the beer separately. I asked the server and they said that you can only get this beer here. And then also Animal Kingdom, they said. I don't know if that's true or not, but I'm excited. I've never had it before. Oh, it's good. It kind of tastes like a holiday beer. Like, you know, like a spiced beer. But this is seriously very good. Wow. <laughs> we don't have a knife. So, so. We, we decided on getting the Kungaloosh but sharing it. And we don't have a knife, so I guess we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna try to do it. So I'm taking a little banana here. I want a little banana. You take a little banana there, yeah. Oh, oh. oh. Okay. Oh, okay. A little ice cream. Oh, yep. See, I did it good there. A little did ice cream. Good. A little bit of the chocolate sass at the bottom. Yep. I got a little bit of everything in this bite. Make oh. sure you get that banana. Oh. Where's my banana? <laughs> I'm gonna got push it. it on here. There we go. There you go. That's the way. All right. I'm excited. We got a little bit of everything on there, so now is the test. Is it a kungaloosh? That is amazing. Wow. Kungaloosh. The dessert is absolutely amazing. I really appreciate the coffee dust. The cake is more of like a brownie, but wow. This is actually very delicious. I was really shocked with it. And plus, I like the Kungaloosh beer. I like all Kungaloosh here. Yeah. <laughs> now that we're actually all done, I want to give you a little bit of a walk around of the restaurant. It's almost closed off, but. There are multiple places in here, different rooms, and it's just really cool to actually be able to explore. This is obviously the main mess hall right here, but as you go through, you'll see tons of different rooms, and it's just really well themed. We're gonna go over here to one of my favorite rooms. Look at this in here. Look at the pirate or the parrot chandeliers. Isn't that amazing? I love it. And then all the fancy china and the cabinets. Very cool. 
And then in here, wow. Everything from the chairs to the mantle. Look at this mantle over here. I love it. Oh, and then you can see this snake is actually from the Jungle Cruise. This is so beautiful, isn't it? The park is officially closed. It actually closed while we were dining in there. You can actually get a reservation almost to the exact minute the park closes. So if it closes at 7 o'clock, you can probably get a reservation at 6.50. But we got a reservation and we were here around 6 o'clock and the park closed at 7. So now it's about 7.30. So the park's been closed for half an hour. We're going to be able to walk out. Still probably going in the Emporium and just enjoy Main Street USA. There's still people in there dining, but now we get to actually walk out to a closed off Magic Kingdom. Aren't you happy? I'm happy! Right? Yeah. So we can't go back that way. As you can see, they already cleared all the way from Adventureland all the way up, but they can't go any farther here because... There's still people yeah, there's like, honestly, like... There's like 10, 10 families. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of people yeah. in there. So all the way up to this part, the park is closed, and now we got Main Street. If you actually look, last night, the night of the Super Bowl, they changed the castle to Tampa Bay's colors, which they do that for most sporting events. And I was hoping maybe they would do that tonight, but I don't think they will. So we're probably just gonna make our way out. There's still a pretty good crowd lingering around though. I mean, it's not completely empty, but it's really nice to just kind of have the Magic Kingdom to yourself. The castle looks so blue right now because it's actually very gloomy out. The skies kind of have like an overcast happening, but most of the park is closed off. You look down through this way, Fantasyland is closed. They're actually sweeping people to the left of the castle because there's still people actually waiting in line to ride Seven Doors Mine Train. And then if you look down here, they have Tomorrowland already roped off. So that's been cleared. And then we already seen Adventureland. And now it's basically just people walking down Main Street. Wow, it seems so crazy out right now. The skies just have that gloomy overcast. It's absolutely mind-bending to see this like overcast. Also, point out that there is no lights on the train station, but doesn't that just look so strange? I love it though, absolutely love it. And I guess with that, we're done for the day. So fun just hanging out at the Magic Kingdom and now closing it down and walking out. Man, I absolutely love all of these adventures. I'm so happy that I get to make a video to show you guys. It's just so much fun and it's just amazing. Today we came here just because it was a fun Magic Kingdom day and we didn't know if any of the NFL players were gonna be here, but we ended up seeing Gronkowski twice. We saw him riding Big Thunder Mountain and also saw him doing all of his photo shoots behind the backstage. How amazing is that? Anywho, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye! But before we go, one last goodbye to that beautiful castle. Look at this. It's amazing walking right down the middle of Main Street, USA. We're actually walking actually right down the middle of Main Street, USA. There's some people sitting on the ground over there. That's the way. Oh, they're setting up. They must be doing TikToks. Very cool.